Good day, good people. It's your guy, Lewis to the T, and I'm back with our third week of Women's History Month. Today is Sunday, March 21st, 2021, and this week I'm going to be talking about my aunts. Yes, I'm going to talk about Aunt Pat and Aunt Re. Um, I know a lot of people have different ways of saying it. My auntie, my aunts, my aunts, whatever it is that you call it, we are all on the same page. But for me, I refer to them as Aunt Pat and Aunt Re. Um, and I'm going to be talking about them today. As I've said for the past couple weeks, I really want to keep uh, Women's History Month personal for us this year. I think that while we are appreciative of our government officials, our politicians, entertainers, athletes, actors, um, all of the above, all of these different avenues in which women contribute, I really want to encourage us to talk about and think about um, the women that the public may not see. You know, if you are not a person who has a parent, um, or a woman in your life who is a public figure um, or somebody who is well known, then these are not women that they know or the world know by name. Um, but these are absolutely women who have made a dynamic impact in your life. These are your, you know, your aunts and your mom and your grandmother, um, your sisters and cousins and all of these wonderful women that you've met along the way who poured into you, um, who created that good thing that we see, um, the, the aspect of you uh, that really is adding value to the world. So that's what I want to do this month. Uh, week one, I talked about my grandmother and how she created this amazing safe space for my mom to be the superhero that I saw her as. Um, and then last week I talked about my mom and kind of uh, rewove that back into the story of my grandmother. And today I wanna talk about my aunts and um, my mom only has two sisters. And when I think about, you know, talking about my grandmother and then talking about my mother, I can't help but think of them as well um, because this foursome was really um, the dynamic force behind our family. I appreciate um, who we have become as uh, men in our family, but without a shadow of a doubt, it was because of these women um, that we were able to um, escape kind of the traps uh, that I call of life, particularly for young black men that we would be able to stand today um, still here, number one, um, safe and sound and having families of our own, um, those that do have wives and children. I'm thinking about, you know, my cousins um, that come from my mom's sisters and looking at where we have come and what we have come through. It's a tribute to them. And so today I'm going to talk about them. Those of you who uh, follow me on social media or know me from social media, you probably already know a little bit about my Aunt Pat. Um, and that's because we're in the same field. We're both um, in business, so to speak. She is clearly <laughs> at a different rank than I am. She's the CEO um, of a nonprofit organization there in St. Louis, Behavioral Health Response. But I have another aunt, my Aunt Ree, who you may not hear as much about um, because like most of us in my family, we're not necessarily making the news or in magazines um, like my Aunt Pat, but I love them um, truly the same. My Aunt Ree is actually uh, my mom's oldest sister. She is two years younger than my mom and my Aunt Pat is seven years uh, younger than my mom. And I bring that up um, because with their age differences, you would have never known that had you saw them. You would have thought that they were really close in age just because of the closeness that they had. You wouldn't think um, that these sisters had any um, amount of years between them because of their relationship. So not to you know dwell on that too much, but I want to talk about uh, first my Aunt Ree. My Aunt Ree, um, man, there's so much to say about her. Um, I want to just think of just three things off the top for both of them. My first memory of just kind of looking at my Aunt Ree as my aunt, you know, separate from the rest of the family. Because when in your family, you know, everybody has a particular role, um, but they're all just kind of one big unit, or at least that's what it was in my family. But the separation came when she took us to Disney World. I have only been to Disney World once in my whole life. Um, and it was on a trip with my Aunt Ree. Her friend um, was with a baseball team, I believe it was, and they were going to Disney uh, for a tournament. And she took us with her, all three of us, me and my two cousins, uh, went to Disney with my aunt, and I will never forget it. Number one, it was a bus ride to Disney from St. Louis. Yes, can you imagine? We did not take a plane. We took a bus ride to Disney. So that was like the first time where I thought to myself, oh, ain't re, okay, not just another member of a family, not just my mom's sister, but the person who kind of stood out in that moment um, as a separate entity um, was my Aunt Ree. And I was just so excited and I never forgot that. And I remember how over the years, you know, when I was in college, 
I still have envelopes and letters to this day where she would write me and she would put money in there and I was so appreciative um, of whatever those dollars were because I was definitely a true and traditional college student. I worked um, every step of the way. I worked, I had a job every single year uh, that I was an undergrad as well as graduate school, but she really uh, was there and really helped me out. Um, and then the third thing I'm going to say, because the third thing um, about both of them I, I want to talk to together. And so my iPad, who I mentioned previously, um, her, her and I interact a lot when it comes to business because being in the business world, trying to make my way up through management and um, understanding finances and marketing or whatever it was at the time. Those who know me knows I've had a, uh, you know, my track was not a straight line. <laughs> my 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 trend line has some zigs and some zags in it. And so we would talk about it um, and just discuss the business of it. Or well, we are both alumni of the same graduate school. We got our MBAs from Fontbonne there in St. Louis um, in the Clayton area. And so we always kind of linked up on that, but we also have a relationship outside of that where we just have these great conversations about things that uh, we are interested in, you know, reading the same books, trying to build a business. Uh, both of us were in the Amway business together and just always looking for different avenues from an entrepreneurial perspective um, to advance the cause of our family. What can we do to help us was always um, kind of our motto or our moniker. That's what we were thinking about. It was never self. It was never me um, or it was never her. It was always what can we do um, to expand and extend the reach um, of our family to ensure that everybody is taken care of. So that's how uh, we really connected and bonded, you know, uh, one, just by both being in the world of the field of business and then two, thinking of these entrepreneurial pursuits uh, for us to advance our family. And then my Aunt Reed with that amazing trip to Disney and then connecting with me, just helping me through, um, you know, my undergraduate college years, as all of my family did. But I remember her in particular uh, because at that time she had her own business. She actually was working um, or she had a store in uh, U City, in University City on Olive, where she sold different items. Um, and so I was just like, wow, you know, to me, this could have been the biggest business in the world uh, because I hadn't seen anybody step out on their own. Um, and the third thing I want to say about them is just the love and the support that they have provided. Uh, since the past time, my mom, they really stepped in and um, not in an attempt to uh, try to take her place or do things that she would do, but just increase their presence more. The way that they reach out to me, we talk, we connect, um, and they just make sure that I know consistently um, that they are there. That is something that, you know, you can't ask for. It's something that just happens. And I am so grateful and so appreciative um, that that just happened. It wasn't something I had to look for um, or hope for. It just organically happened that our relationships expanded and they grew and they developed into more of what they already were. Um, so it didn't seem false or contrived. It really was just a natural um, love that was wrapped around me and I needed it. I still need it. Um, and I am appreciative. And so that is my Women's History Month update for week three. You guys will be able to see this full video on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, um, as well as Instagram. So keep up with me. I'll be back next week. Week four, we're going to talk about amazing friends. If you do not have female friends, if you do not have women in your life who you call friends, this is to my men, then you need to work on that because they are an amazing support um, and, and source of so much um, just intellectual capital. So I'll leave it at there and I'll see you guys soon.